All across the United States, and certainly here in Oklahoma, cow-calf producers are rebuilding their herds after the downsizing that took place during the drought. That means that we're saving back more and more replacement heifers. If you're saving some and growing some replacement heifers that you're going to breed this spring, I really encourage you to make contact with your local veterinarian and schedule a time about 60 days after the breeding season to have those heifers pregnancy diagnosed because we want to find out which heifers did not get bred and we want to cull them out of the herd. And I'd like to get them culled as soon as possible for three good reasons. Number one, we'd like to get those less fertile animals out of our herd. The USDA station up at Mile City, Montana, a number of years ago, did lifetime cow studies. And over a 23-year period, they had over 1,500 replacement heifers that they bred, but they kept all of them, whether they got pregnant or not. Of those 1,500, 266 of them were open, but they stayed in the herd anyway on an average of about four years. That meant that those 266 heifers had 1,006 chances to get pregnant again. As they followed those cattle through the, the rest of their lifetime in the herd, they averaged a 55% calf crop rather than a real high percentage of 90% or better. In other words, that heifer that was open during her first breeding season was a bad bet to keep around. Second, I think we want to keep in mind that if we don't pregnancy test, test them and we wait until next spring to find out that she's not pregnant and she's not going to have a calf, now we have put all that winter feed cost and expense into that heifer that we've got no calf coming the following fall to help pay the bills. Thirdly, I'd like to get those heifers culled as soon as possible so that they're still young enough to be marketed as heifers that can go into a feedlot and be fed out to be choice beef. You see, if we wait until the following spring and sell her as one of those two-year-old hefferettes, the buyers know that she's probably going to be too old to be fed out to be choice because the, uh, the grading system that we use here in the United States uh, has a cutoff of about 30 months of age. After that, they put in what they call the B maturity group and it's very difficult for those cattle to grade choice. So we want to get them culled to where they can be fed out at a much younger age. Also, if you have both fall and spring calving herds, resist the temptation to take those open heifers from the, the spring herd and try to put them into the fall. Remember that USDA data from Montana. It says that they're a 55% calver for the rest of the year, for the rest of their lifetime, we certainly don't need that kind of genetics in our herd. I think if we'll cull those open replacement heifers after that first breeding season, it'll help the productivity of our herd for years to come and help our bottom line. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on Sunup's Cow-Calf Corner.